the importance of courtship before marriage. The importance of courtship before marriage. One may ask, what is courtship? Courtship can be defined as a period when a man and a woman agree to marry and when they are actually joined together as husband and wife in a holy wedlock. The period when a man and a woman agree to marry and when they are actually joined together as husband and wife in a holy wedlock. Now, the period of courtship is very important. It's a very important period in any marriage relationship. It is a period to lay solid foundation for the success of your marriage. However, before courtship will start, something will happen first. The man will first propose to the woman by telling the woman, I want to marry you. And when the woman says yes, courtship starts. She says no, no courtship. But one thing for our sisters, please don't enter into any relationship with your brother and assume that you are in courtship. Praise the Lord. Because you don't assume that you are in courtship. The man must open his mouth to propose. And you must accept before you will say you are in courtship. Meanwhile, some brothers complain that they are proposed to one or two sisters or three and they turn them down. The truth is that as a man, when you want to write an exam or you want to go for a job interview, you take time to prepare very well. You pray, you study, you even dress well in the case of job interview. But surprisingly, when you want to go and propose to a sister, you don't take time to prepare. This, as a man, you have to prepare. You have to pray. Dress well. If possible, rehearse what you want to say and how you will say it. Because if you appear careless and you cannot convince our intelligent sisters that you have vision and you, ha you know where you are going, she will not accept because no intelligent woman will like to accept a man who don't know where he is going. On the other side, sisters, please, if a brother proposes to you and what you have in your mind is yes, please don't say no. <laughs> don't say no. Thinking that the brother will do extra work, talking, before you will now say yes. I will tell you a true life story. A brother proposed to a sister, and she said no. The brother left and let her propose to another sister, and that one accepted. When the first one knew about it, she hurriedly went to the brother and told him, that time you proposed to me, and I said no. Did I really mean no? You can see it. She's asking whether, did she really mean? No, that means she was expecting the brother to do more work. And that was how she missed the opportunity. Now, back to courtship. In Matthew 1 verse 18, the NLT version, he said, this is how Jesus, the Messiah, was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, Take note, but before the marriage took place. That means Mary and Joseph observed courtship. 
Courtship provides the building blocks to the success of a marriage. Courtship is a period of openness. No secrets. It's a period you tell yourselves the truth. It's a period you discuss vital things that has to do with one another. Courtship is a period you pray together. Read books on marriage. Study the word of God. Go out for evangelism together and carry out other kingdom activities together. It is a period you discuss important issues that has to do with the success of your marriage. Important issues like kingdom commitments after marriage, how many children do you intend to have, career or business plans, how you can further your studies after marriage, future investment plans for the family. These are important issues to discuss during courtship. It's not all about going from one cinema hall to another cinema hall. Because if you are doing that and you leave the important part, it means you are only measuring in the minor. Cinema halls will not run. After marriage, you can still go. But pay attention during courtship to plan for the success of your marriage. Now, during courtship, most people focus their attention on preparing for the wedding. One thing you must understand is that wedding is one day, but marriage is a lifetime. So it is very important that while you prepare for wedding, which is one day, you must spend quality time to prepare for marriage, which is lifetime. You see young couples, because they spend more time to prepare for wedding, which is one day, Immediately after wedding, they become confused because they don't know what next to do to move that marriage to the next level. The next thing you hear, Pastor, I just discovered we are not compatible. The question is, who will compart it for you? Who will compart it for you? Nobody will leave his own family to come and compart your own family. <laughs> Note that the Bible did not specify how long courtship period will last. But wisdom demands that the period will not be too short and it will not be too long. Wisdom also demands that during courtship, if you discover anything as a man or as a woman that you know you cannot cope with if you marry that person, please quit that relationship. Because a broken courtship is not equal to divorce. You don't marry out of sentiment. Are you hearing me? You don't marry out of sentiment. You are not marrying because of your father. You are not marrying because of your mother. You are the one that will face it. So if you know there are things you discover during courtship, you know you cannot cope. Please quit at that point. I must also point out that period of courtship is not a period to engage in sexual intercourse or any act that will lead to sex. In the book of Hebrews 13 verse 4, say marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But warmongers and adulterers, God will judge. Please, the time of courtship is not a time to go to the man's house to wash his clothes. A man, when he proposed to you, he did not wear dirty clothes. It is not a time to go and display your cooking skills. I believe when he came, he was not starving. So please reserve all these your special talents till after wedding to avoid unnecessary temptation. <laughs> 